Imagine you asked someone a tough question, and instead of making up an answer or guessing, they paused, did their research, double-checked everything, and only answered after they were totally sure. Sounds rare, right? Well, Google just created something that works exactly like that. It's not a person, it's an AI agent, and it's built to never lie, never rush, and always give answers based on real facts. This new AI uses Google's powerful Gemini 2.5 model, and it works together with something called Langgraph, a tool that helps it think in steps, just like a smart researcher. Together, they've created a system that's more than just a chatbot. It's like having a mini scientist on your computer. But what makes it so different from other AI tools we've seen before? Most AI tools today can search the internet, right? But here's the problem. They usually take the first result they find, and boom, that's their answer. They don't check if it's right. They don't look deeper. They don't care if the information is old, wrong, or incomplete. So if you ask a complex question, like, something about a new computer chip or the science behind cooling systems, the answer might be wrong or just very basic. That's a big issue. In real life, bad info can waste your time, cost you money, or lead to wrong decisions. This time, Google didn't just build a smart robot. They built an AI that acts like a researcher. Here's how it works. It thinks before it speaks. If you ask a question, it won't answer right away. It breaks down the question into smaller parts to understand what you're really asking. It searches deeply. Instead of just clicking the first link, it keeps refining its search until it's 100% sure it has everything it needs. It double checks everything. The AI doesn't just pick random facts. It checks and rechecks each part of the answer, then gives you real sources to back it up. It only replies when ready. No typing half answers, no guessing. It waits until it's fully sure. Then it shares a complete, well-written, fact-based answer. That's why people are calling it the first AI agent that can't lie. Let's say you ask the AI something super technical, like how a special kind of computer memory called 3-stack HBM keeps cool during heavy use. A normal chatbot might give you a quick random answer that doesn't make sense. But this AI, first it splits your question into parts. What is 3-stack HBM? What cooling methods does it use? How does it behave under stress? Then it searches the internet for official documents, expert forums, and research papers. If it finds missing pieces, it searches again until it's satisfied. Satisfied. Only then does it give you the full answer, with links to where it got each piece of info. So why does this matter? Well, think about people who really need accurate information. We're talking about researchers looking for facts, students writing papers, tech support teams solving real problems, even doctors or engineers needing exact details. In these situations, guessing is dangerous. You don't want half-baked answers. You want something reliable. And that's exactly what Google's new AI delivers. Instead of Acting like a talking machine, this AI acts like someone who actually does their homework. It's patient, it's smart, and it won't respond until it knows it's giving you the truth. And here's the best part. When it finally answers, it includes clickable links. That means you can check the sources yourself. So if you're ever unsure, you can go straight to the original website or research page. That's real transparency. Now let's peek behind the curtain and see how this agent actually works. First off, the AI runs on Gemini 2.5, Google's latest powerful language model. It's kind of like the brain of the system. It helps understand your question and come up with the best response. But what really makes it special is a tool called Langgraph. Think of it like a smart flowchart. It helps the AI decide what to search, check the answers it finds, choose what to do next. Each part of the process is like a little box in a decision tree. If one path doesn't work, it tries another. If a result doesn't answer your question, it keeps searching. And because of this, the AI isn't just smart, it's flexible. You can even customize how the agent thinks. Want it to use a medical website before replying to a health question? No problem. Just change a block in Langgraph. Want to limit how many times it loops through a question. Easy. It's all designed for control. Here's something cool. If you're a developer or even just curious, you can set this whole thing up on your own computer. You don't need some giant server or advanced setup. Just install a few things like Node.js Python, your Gemini API key. Then run a few simple commands, and the whole thing works right inside your web browser. It's fast, it's smooth, and yes, it's totally local, meaning your data stays with you. The front end, what you see, and the back end, what does the work, are kept separate. So if something crashes or you want to make changes, you can do it without breaking the entire system. That's perfect for testing, experimenting, or even building your own version. And if you're more advanced, you can launch it with just one command using Docker. Everything, the memory system, the 
user interface, and even a stats dashboard comes bundled together. Another amazing part of this AI agent, it remembers what you talked about, even if you close the browser. Let's say you asked a really long question, something that takes time to research. You don't have to sit and wait. You can just close the tab, take a break, and come back later. When you return, your session is still there. Nothing is lost. That's because behind the scenes, tools like Postgres and Redis are keeping track of your conversation. These are like notebooks and timers for the AI. Redis handles things happening live, and Postgres remembers what already happened and if you want the AI to remember even more like storing deeper thoughts or organizing answers by meaning you can add a feature called semantic search using embeddings that's a fancy word but in simple terms it helps the AI understand your questions better and find smarter answers faster what if you're a developer or someone who loves to tinker with tools this AI system is made just for that you can change how it behaves with just a few clicks some people worry about privacy with AI but Google's new AI agent is built with smart security features. For example, your API keys, the special codes that connect your AI to the internet, are hidden safely. They're not stored in the code where someone can see them. All important files are locked behind private settings. Plus, the whole system is open source under the Apache 2.0 license. That means anyone can use it, remix it, or build new tools from it without asking permission or paying fees. Whether you're a big company, a student, or just someone having fun, the license gives you full freedom. Even better, the AI is built with tools that work anywhere. Whether you're in the US, India, Europe, or anywhere else, all you need is your Gemini key. The rest runs on basic tools like Python, React, and common cloud platforms. So what makes this AI agent special? It doesn't guess. It doesn't lie. It works like a real researcher, digging deep, double-checking facts, and only answering when it's fully sure. Whether you're a student, developer, or just someone who wants real answers, this this tool is a total game changer. And the best part? You can run it yourself, make it your own, and even improve it. AI like this shows us a glimpse of what the future could look like. A future where machines think carefully, learn honestly, and help us grow smarter together. Now it's your turn. Do you think AI agents like this are ready to replace how we search for information? Or is it still too soon to trust them completely? Let us know in the comments below. We want to hear your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a breakdown like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.